Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Majido Priestess. Welcome back to everyone who has already subscribed to my channel. If you are new, welcome. I am a psychic medium, clairvoyant, healer. Okay, and um, today I'm going to be doing the Earth Signs mid reading for the month of May. Okay, um, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. So let's see what's going on with your sign month of May, April, I mean April, whoa, May, <sighs> maybe some of you guys are feeling like this month is passing you by really fast and you really haven't gotten things done or vice versa, but let's see, Archangel Michael, please protect me in the highest, with the whitest white light for this reading. Ancestors and spirit guides of the highest white light malevolent beings, please come through. Okay. Let's see. What is going on, spirit, here for my earth signs? Mid May here, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. What would you like to let them know? What's going on? This could be a love reading, career, whatever wants to come through. I'm really feeling like it could be a love situation. But let's see. What's going on for my earth signs here? We have regret. Okay. Ooh, okay. I'm hearing determination. Someone who was in doubt about a connection with you, something with you here. Um, I feel like they're starting to regret. Yeah, this could be a friendship for a lot of you. Okay, this could be a friend or a love situation. Yeah, remember I said determination. Yeah, we have perseverance. Okay, so this makes sense. So what I have here, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, is um, there's someone in your energy, whether this is you or someone around you, that is now ready to persevere in this connection. They know what they're here to do. I feel like they know that, you know, they understand now that someone, okay. Remember that this is a general reading, so only take what resonates. But there is a friendship here, okay? Friend, family, lover, take the high resonates. Who is beginning to understand why you're in this person's life. And in the past, they doubted this connection. Okay, it's like they wanted to control it. They wanted to know the answers, like what's going on. This definitely feels like a love situation. And now they're in some sort of regret because they can't change the past. They can't change the fact that they doubted you in the past. Okay, because now they've had this enlightenment when they can see why they met you. It says, I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. They know this reason and now it's causing them to persevere towards you because I feel... This in this perseverance is coming intuitively. Bottom of the deck, we have the death card. So yes, um, I feel like this person or you, whoever this energy is, I feel like they have gone or is still currently undergoing Scorpio energy here, some type of transformation because they're not at peace. We have peace in reverse. So someone is just not at peace right now, okay? Um, they're ready to persevere now. They have no doubt and I feel like now it's like where that regret comes from because it's like now I really know what I want whether it's to have a friendship with you or to whatever. There was an ending in this connection. There could have been an ending or just some sort of transformation this person is undergoing because it says I am learning that endings are merely beginnings, right? So yeah, I feel like this is this person realizing that happiness Somebody is not happy without you, okay? So this is what I'm channeling so far. Let's check your overall energy here for Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, month of mid-May, okay? I have on my calendar that there's going to be a full moon on May 26th. There's a full moon eclipse here in Sagittarius. So I don't know if you want to check that out if you're into the moonology. Just wanted to let you guys know about that. But there's going to be a lot of um astro astrological like events happening in this month of May. 
and that's where I feel like this regret and thing is coming from because it's like there's going to be this air energy of clarity that's going to happen in this month, right? And I feel like that's what's happening here. Someone has had the clarity that they didn't have before because they had fear, they had doubt, okay? And it was like maybe the, the past was holding them back with regret, but it's like, yeah, somebody here is just struggling right now. They're very anxious. They're very anxious because it's like, I know what I want now. I know what you're in my life. Let's see what's going on. What is the overall energy here, Spirit? Crowning this reading for the earth signs. What is the overall energy crowning for the earth signs? Okay, we have hostility. Yep. Yep. It's like manipulation i'm hearing this person could have been ma very manipulative in the past or was just very hostile towards you or you had to sort of set some boundaries here with this person we do have action um that's aries energy and angel of love okay pisces cancer scorpio with hostility that's gemini libra aquarius yeah and on the bottom of the door i mean bottom of the deck i said door <laughs> door to romance is here 33 so yeah and then we have goddess of the moon carrying relationship and victory all right so clearly here somebody has been um lying about this feelings that they have for you okay i feel like they're ready to take action now and persevere they were doubting this feelings right it was it was caged in the closet it was put in the closet it was hidden and this person, I feel like, was being very hostile because of the things that had happened in their past. And it's like they're releasing this doubt and now coming towards you with this determination to take action. Right? You guys could have your differences with this um, white and black horse here. And then it's like this friend. It's like you've been very kind to this person. You've offered your love and your kindness. This is a very loving connection and they feel it. And this is why they want to persevere and kind of take this risk and offer you this cup of love. But it's like there are these fears that have been in the path, in the back here, right? With the goddess of the moon, that's the fear and doubt. But at the same time, it's secrets of a caring connection here. So let's see what else is going on. I'm just going to move this here because it's just getting in the way. This too is getting in my way. I need more space. I need a bigger desk. Okay. What else would you like to tell my earth signs, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus here? What's going on? Abundance. Okay. So there is abundance that's coming towards you here as well. Abundance in your love life, in your money. Okay beautiful all right there is a sort of celebration coming towards you in this month of mid-may okay you are being celebrated you are going to be celebrating something i feel like maybe this person it's gonna want some sort of reconciliation that's also what i'm getting with celebration someone wants to reconcile and celebrate um kind of open the gates of love and i do see this water right pisces cancer scorpio um this you could be dealing with that sign or have it in your chart but i feel like with all this water and all this abundance um there's been a lot of tremendous healing here with that transformation and this is like the ace of cups so there's a lot of love this person has like an like overflowing unconditional love for you and they really want to reconcile this it's like no doubt no more they they know what they want and um with the hostility i feel like they're ready to like fight whoever they need to fight in order to protect this path and, and, and this connection with you, whoever this person is. Or if this is you, I don't know. But it's like, there's no doubt anymore, okay? I'm moving forward. I'm taking action. I feel this, this unconditional love and friendship from you. What else, Spirit? What else? Yeah, there is also abundance coming here because we do have coins. So like I said, abundance in, in love and in healing, but also money. I'm seeing the number six and one here. So there is a new beginning of love for you. Tell me about this regret here. House, 
Okay, some of you guys could be celebrating buying a new house or having a, some sort of new partnership. This person may want to, um, you know, come into some agreement with you. They kind of feel like you're their home, right? Their foundation. They may want to move in with you. One more card. Yeah, this this house keeps coming up. What's this house? Yeah, you guys are going to be celebrating a new home. It's loud and clear here. It's like you're gonna have you're making you're making some sort of money here, and you're celebrating this too, which is beautiful. Let's get into the tarot now. All right, spirit, what's going on here um, with my earth signs? For the month of May, I'm going to move them down here so that I may clarify. And I'm actually going to move the card of love here and have perseverance here. I'm hearing don't give up on me. So I feel like this person doesn't want to give up on this connection. Doesn't want you to give up. Um, Yeah, I keep hearing determination, determination, like... They really want to work together. There's no doubt they want to move in together. There's no doubt that they want to build something with you. Um, there's no doubt that they want reconciliation here. And they are willing to do whatever it takes to protect this love. Okay? Because there is love here. So let's see, Spirit. What is this regret? Can you clarify the regret for my earth signs here? Who is in regret here? What's going on? So we have the three of wands, right? This is like someone giving their back from the past here, right? Someone is really much like leaving this regret behind and kind of hoping for the future here, what's coming forward, okay? Someone is really just giving their back here to the past, like I said, and just kind of really leaving conflict behind. The three of wands is about ships coming in. It's about waiting for something and heading towards the future, manifest manifesting right and look at this yeah the nine of swords somebody is in deep regret here and it's kind of yearning kind of misses the distance that you guys have it's like this person is watching you or you are watching this person but they can't sleep at night there's a lot of anxiety here which i showed you earlier with that card there's a lot of anxiety and regret and it's like doesn't this person look like they are in regret Tell me more. What's this regret about? I'm hearing just overthinking. Someone's really in their head right now. Yeah, healing. Four of swords. This person's healing. Could be an air sign. Two of wands. Like I said, someone is just ready to move on from the past and heal and let go of this anxiety. Okay, clarify the nine of swords. Seven of Pentacles, waiting. There's a lot of waiting here. I feel like someone is in regret that they've maybe waited. Yeah, of the doubt, the hesitance I'm hearing. Hesitance, the waiting, not knowing, the overthinking and planning. Um, it's like now this person is ready to build a future with you. Um, yeah, move in together. I'm seeing a, a red house here. <clears throat> um. Yeah, they could have been playing games with you, I'm hearing. They could have been playing games. <clears throat> the Four of Swords speaks about healing from a heartbreak. Okay, so I feel like maybe they regret hurting you or they needed, like in the past, there's just been through so much pain. They needed um, some sort of break and separation here to restore their balance and their energy again. But I see a lot of waiting. The Seven of Pentacles and the Three of wands it's like maybe someone is just in regret that they are just waiting yeah they feel stuck here the eight of swords this person can't get you out of their mind but they're also like is someone who thinks a lot and self-sabotages the situation and they just like they don't know why but this is someone that you could have invested some sort of time here with and that's where they're in regret maybe they're in regret with the time and and um that they've given someone else instead of you because I do see them like kind of still looking towards the future. It's like maybe this person is with someone else and they feel stuck now. And they're like in regret of investing this energy. But when it comes to the nighttime and they're resting, they really connect with you. They dream about you. And um, yeah, it's like 
they want to, they think about you. There could have been two people, but it's like they think about you. They, yearn, they yearn to be with you. There's a distance between you here. Take the high resonates. Um, clarify this doubt. Yeah, it's this emperor for sure. Aries energy as I picked up. This person has no doubt anymore. We have the action card already there with the horse. And I said playing games. This person could have been playing games. Um, like I said here with the chess pieces. It's like very... Um, someone here is also like just very logical when planning. Very strat strat strategic. Kind of they think before they make a move. Which is probably what caused the doubt. Also I'm getting friends could have brought doubt into this connection even though this person knew that they wanted to persevere towards you um some friends could have brought doubt into this connection but this emperor here is a leader is someone of authority so i don't see this person having doubt anymore because this is someone now who doesn't doubt and takes action who is this emperor we also have the number four again so you could be seeing four 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 Seven of Swords. Yeah. Yeah, okay. This is such a beautiful, clear reading. Like, it's so clear. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you so much. So we have Seven, Seven here. Seven of Swords with the Seven of Cups. So this Emperor, right? It doesn't... This could just be masculine energy. It doesn't have to be a masculine person. But we have the Divine Masculine energy here. This person had doubts for sure, right? They were confused. And this is because they had options, right? This person had options. They were confused. The Seven of Cups speaks about confusion, but also having options, right? And this is where the doubt was coming from. Does this person do not look like they have doubt? Look, what do I pick and choose? I don't know. But then I feel like the regret comes came because they didn't know how to choose. And there was a snake. And they chose the snake, Right? They chose the snake, which is the seven of swords. They chose the person that did them wrong, that was sneaky. I feel like this person was sneaky with you and lied to you. That's where the moon was keeping from you too. They were hiding their true feelings from you. And they were connecting with other people, right? Because they had options. They definitely could have cheated on you. Or if you were not involved with this person, they were just afraid to tell you these feelings. Doing things under the moon here, okay? Um... But this person now is in regret because definitely, like, whatever option they chose here, they found out was this Seven of Swords. Clarify the Seven of Swords with the Seven of Cups. This person also could have had doubt because they were so used to people, um, trust issues I'm hearing with the Seven of Swords. It's like this person was a player, right? Sneaky energy, confusion, but... You know, it's like with you, they want this abundance, right? They want to have this home. Yeah, you're like their wish fulfillment and they want to take action towards you. For sure, this person is coming. This is the card of perseverance, right? Cancer, the chariot. So I'm going to leave that out there. Again, those two horses. You could be in a twin flame situation, soulmate. This white and black horses. Again, it's like you guys are very different, but you just really go well together. Um, I'm getting here. What is this sneaky energy here? So, yeah, I'm also seeing 777. Mm -hmm. So for some reason, there was doubt, okay? Like I said, their homies, their homeboys could have been like, you have so many options, why are you stressing this one? And they just didn't know how to be loyal. But this person does feel the Ace of Cups here, like I said. This is that Ace of Cups twice with the Abundance. They feel a lot of love for you, okay? We have the angel of love here already with the ace of cups. So this person doesn't just, you know, this person is in deep regret, but this person really did care about you, and they did see a future with you, right? They did see a future of you guys moving in together and um, compromising, buying a house, right? It's like there is abundance and potential in this connection, right? Whoever this person is, they really do feel regret that they doubt it because they feel this unconditional love for you. And I feel like you are leaving them out in the cold right now. You're not really talking to them or they left you out in the cold, but they feel stuck now. Maybe with someone else or in another situation. Because whatever it is, it's like they're stuck. They're waiting. They're in a pause, but they want to take action. Some of them will take action because it's like 
they're hiding the fact that they secretly like love you so much and this is such a fragile thing right that they're just like i have to maybe think about this this is this what i really want tell me more spirit tell me more about these options yeah they're going to come in and, commun and communicate with you they're definitely coming here with communication very very fast they're trying to manifest you back here gemini energy Queen of Pentacles, this is you, my love, because it's like you're you're in your energy right now. You have this mothering energy and nurturing energy about you, and this person really likes that about you. Oh, yeah, they do. Okay, so for sure this person may just literally ask you to marry them for some of you. Oh my gosh, yeah, two of cups on the bottom. Because we have the Justice Four cards, that speaks of marriage, and we already have a house here. So it's like this person wants seriousness with you. They want commitment, right? They want... A home, the four of wands, celebration. And we already have celebration here. Knight of Cups, romance, two of cups, soulmate. So tell me more about this love for my earth signs. Clarify this angel of love. Ooh, I said clarify this angel of love. And look at these cards. Beautiful. We have the lovers. So this is a soulmate twin flame connection, right? So this person just feels like no matter what the other options are, they're in regret because they're not you okay whoever this person was messing with it's like they're not you 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 you're abundant um spiritually physically materialistically like that queen of pentacles right you're very nurturing you're very healing but you're very abundant you're in your power and it's like there's this con there's this energy that you guys have um right and it's like this person is bored without you four of cups um, they really don't want to be rejected by you, but they're really bored in whatever connection they're in right now. And this is why they held back their energy because they felt so much love from you. They just didn't know how to approach this, but they want success now here. Six of wands. Okay. They want some type of success now with you. They don't want to hold back. They feel bored without you and the lovers. It's definitely a divine connection. So this is your divine masculine and you could be a divine feminine right this person now is ready to close all these cycles of let's say being a player or whoever this person was with and just really communicate with you i see this person communicating clarify the lovers yeah the lovers also speaks about a decision so i feel like that's the regret okay they're in regret that whoever they chose with is not you like look at this it's like there was a fire with you guys. There was a passion, a connection, very intense, very out of this world. And when they chose the other person for whatever reason, right? They're in bored. They're in regret. Because it's like this person isn't you. This person holds back a lot. And I feel like you're very, um, you, you stand out. You're, you expose yourself. You're very vulnerable. You're not afraid to hold back your love. This person could have also just been interested in his finances while you were giving him just unconditional or her unconditional love. Let's take this how it resonates. Page of Swords. Yeah, this person is watching you though. They're watching you because this moon, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They're watching you because they're drowning in these feelings that they love you and they want this Ten of Cups with you. You are their wish fulfillment. It feels cold in a night without you. It feels cold without you. I want this warm love back. You're my happiness. And yeah, you definitely could have walked away from them. Or they left you out in the cold. And they walked away from you. But I feel like they see something, right? They had to see something different in order to know now. Like you're the one to, they want to take action towards and persevere. This person is definitely taking action towards you. It's like they were in some sort of mental conflict, but they're not going to be anymore. Let's see what else you can tell me about this love connection here, Spirit. With the Kepler deck. What else can you tell us about this masculine love here? Whoop. Okay, we have a gift. So this person sees you as a gift, okay? They also, like I said, are going to buy you a gift. Um, for some sort of apology and celebration. I see a celebration. This person may ask you on a date or just some sort of reconciliation. We have marriage on the bottom. So they could actually be buying you a ring. Okay, take the higher resonates. This isn't for everyone. There's someone out there that's going to get a proposal. 
gift here this person is planning because they do see you as their wish fulfillment their ten of cups their ultimate happiness okay it's like the six of of, of uh, wands they want to tell they want to show all you off to the world okay they want to tell everyone like yeah she's the one i love he's the one i love they see themselves like having kids with you yeah courtship yeah they want to court you here again the number four and settle down Right? They want to romance you. They want to do things the right way this time. Right, They want to come and correct this time. They want to take it slow, take you on a date, show you your worth, gift you, buy you gifts, buy you flowers. Um, you know? Yeah, this person wants to settle down with you and literally take, like, you know, get married, have a family with you, ten of cups again, and message. So expect a message from this person, okay, and they're going to come back changed. It's like, when they come back, you're going to notice how changed they are, more mature, I'm hearing, more mature, and even wealthier here. There's more, I feel like this person's coming back more, much more confident because they've made some sort of money or balance here in their money. Um, I'm going to get you some messages from the love thing here. And then I'll give you some advice. All right. Let's see what messages want to come through. Spirit, what love messages want to come through for my Earth signs, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus? But yeah, this person is watching you, secretly watching you. Like, secret admirer, I'm hearing. Like, a secret admirer. They, they don't want to let you know that you're everything. It's like behind the scenes, they're planning... Um, I feel like this is you, you're, you're like resting, you're alone right now, um, waiting for this person as this person is also waiting for you. Let's see what comes through. We have, they're checking your social media. That's so funny. I just said that. Yep. So they're definitely checking your social media soul tribe. So this is a twin flame. This person is part of your soul tribe. There's something about your energy that makes me feel less stress, okay? And I feel like whoever this other person that they're with makes them feel stuck and stressed. And if they're not with anyone else, it's like if they're just not with you, they're stressed, okay? You have, there's something about your vibe and your energy that is so loving, right? And it makes them feel less stressed, and this is why they miss too as well. What else? Okay, we have, I want a relationship with you, but I'm scared. So like I said, this is somebody, a player who is afraid of commitment, but they know that they want a house with you. They want the white picket fence, the kids, the child, everything. They want to marry you, right? They want to propose. They are thinking of getting you a gift, right? Taking you out on a date appropriately, doing things the appropriate way, but they're scared, right? Because it's like they can't get you out of their mind. They're stressing, <laughs> Oh, yeah, we also have, you make me reflect on life on a deeper level. So, yeah, the hangman here, Pisces energy. It's like I said, this person is definitely reflecting on a deeper level with this water. They're having a lot of dreams and healing. And it's like they're drowning in these feelings and it's stressing them out. But it's because they know that there's something deeper and different about this. Definitely twin-ish connection here, soulmate. Um, how can you love me? How can you love someone like me? So this person... Had his doubts, maybe because you're too gorgeous, right? You're too beautiful, you're too loving, and they just didn't feel worthy of this connection. So they settled down for something that would be obviously easier to be with. Secret admirer, I told you, cannot make it up. This person is secretly admiring you, they didn't, and they haven't told you this. Some of you intuitively know, others of you have no idea that this person, like, literally is thinking about the future with you. Stop doubting my feelings for you, okay? They want you to stop doubting these feelings that they, that they feel for you. I feel like that's also you telling them, right? They've had insecurities, and I feel like you've told this person, like, I love you, I care about you. 
deeply, right? Because this is like a friendship and a love. So I feel like this is obviously going to be deeper than just any kind of love, right? I miss you. This person misses you. That's why they're it's like, yeah, it's like at night. They just can't stop thinking about you. Like, what are you doing? Who are you with? Do you miss me? That kind of stuff. Whoa, okay. You're very intimidating. I told you. There's something about your energy. You're just gorgeous. You intimidate people. And it's like you're different, right? And this person is so used to having the seven of cups, all these choices, but they're all kind of the same. And there's something different and intimidating about you. Let's take a break. That's that four of swords. So you could have told this person let's take a break or they took a break from you um, to be with someone else to or to be a player and whatever. I want to change my lifestyle, but they do want to change and they want to really learn what it's like to settle down. Healing, yeah, like I said. They've done a lot of healing and they're still doing it because they know that they want to be with you and in order to come towards you, they got to come correct. They got to come healed. I tell my friends about you. I told you the friendship. Some of their friends brought doubt into this person because when they told their friends, they were like, nah, man. And this probably came because you actually have some sort of exposure out here or public recognition, some of you. And their friends see how beautiful you are and they could have, you know, wanted to get with you. But yeah, expect this person to like ask you out, buy you a gift. Like I said, some sort of flowers. Will you go out with me? There is a celebration, some sort of date coming towards here, okay? Uh, maybe in the house I'm hearing here this could this person could have like a date in the house cook for you Will you go out with me? So they're just thinking about asking you out. Let's see if there's anything else I'm thinking about you right now So like I said, they're just non-stop. They can't get you out of their mind And they're worried and anxious about it the same message coming up It's like it's 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 worrying them that they feel this much for you and they can't have you right now. They're not next to you. Something's keeping them stuck, clearly. That they have to just watch you. And it's not just, you know, their courage. So many things remind me of you. So it's just like, they're seeing signs everywhere they look. They reminds them of you. Songs remind them of you, I'm hearing. Um, and they're just like very worried right now. That maybe you just won't take them back. They're worried about this regret. They're worried that maybe you may doubt that they feel this for real for you. Wait for me, not ready. Yeah, because they were not ready back then, right? They were not ready. I've been abused in the past. So for some of you, this person has been abused and this is why they have intimacy issues. Okay, Spirit is saying stay optimistic about your love life though. And um, let me get you an advice before I let you go. Advice, spirit. Ooh. Assertiveness. Again, this person is coming assertive. They're not going to take no for an answer. Yeah. They're going to... If Yeah. Blessing in disguise. Again, a gift. They're going to give you some sort of gift in disguise. They also, see, they also feel like you have been there for a reason, right? Like, since they met you, you've been an angel in their life, an angel of love, an angel of light in their life. And um, they really desire you. It says, what do you desire? So Spirit is just saying, like, you know, there's a blessing right now in disguise that you're not seeing. Um, whatever the situation is, just kind of go for it. Focus on what you want to desire in order to manifest it. Last one, the ocean, right? The deep blue sea speaks to your soul, healing and soothing you. Even the act of imagining yourself. So some of you, I've seen a lot of water here. So some of you do need to get some sort of spiritual bath or... Uh, maybe you will go on a date by water here. I'm also seeing your person may take you on a date by water, by a well. Um, but yeah, it's like you need to go by by the water. There's a lot of water energy here. You need to go by the water to cleanse your energy. That's something coming through. There's nothing to worry about the last one, okay? Whatever your situation is, know that you are safe. And there's nothing to worry about. Right. Um, I feel like there's a time that's going to come for you for you guys that things are just going to be effortless. That's why it's abundance with these um, waterfalls. There's a time for an effortless amount of love, an effortless amount of approach and 
always in your life. So if this message resonated, obviously don't forget to like, comment, and share below. Let your girl know what I does. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, the information will be down below. I love you guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.